Annie C here, and welcome back for another Thomas review. I do not say Thomas for Ramley because this time we're going to do something a little different. That's right, we're going to review the Thomas and Friends Minis. The Thomas and Friends Minis are a line of tiny plastic trains that came out earlier this year. I think they're very similar to the Take and Play in the fact that they're tiny, very portable, and it's fun to take and play. So here I've got a little pamphlet. Uh, there's currently 70 plus characters in the Thomas Minis line, as indicated here. I don't know if you can see, but it says collect 70 plus minis. And this little pa this little pamphlet here it has uh, about so some of the characters that you can get. The take the Tom sorry the Thomas and Friends minis are very unique in the fact that unlike the Thomas and Friends Wooden Railways Take and Play and Trackmaster line, the engines are uniquely decorated. This Gordon here is a racer Gordon. This he comes in a line he comes in a specific group of engines with racing stripes. Hence the name hence the name racer. Uh, the current engines in the racer line are Gordon, Dash, Bill. Spencer and Thomas. I'm sorry that you can't see it too well. This camera isn't really that good. Here we've got Spooky, Hero, Neon, and Chillin' and Old School. At the top you've got Dino and Robo. I currently have four of these engines. Racer Gordon, Chillin' and Sydney, Classic Diesel 10, and Dino Steven. These engines, they also come with all the classic versions of the characters with no added decorations. On the back here, they've got metallic engines too, which are five characters with metallic coats. And here they've got the DC Friends, the DC, uh, sorry, the DC Super Friends line. Here's Thomas as Batman, Percy as Robin, James as the Flash, Thomas again as Superman, and some villains. Diesel 10 is the Joker, Mi uh, Millie is the Harley Quinn, Charlie is the Riddler, and Spencer is Cyborg. I think these are I think these are really nice little trains. They're very inexpensive, about a dollar forty-seven per train. They come uh, if you want to get a single train, they come in blind bags, which are and. Uh, if you want to know which character you're getting, you can look up, they've got, there's some blind bag codes online, which will uh, let you know which character you're getting so you don't get, accidentally get duplicates. They also come in packs of three and packs of nine. The packs of three are four dollars and the packs of nine are uh, sometimes ten dollars. Uh, I got a pack of three with Racer Gordon, Children Sydney, and Diesel 10, and yesterday I got Dino Steven in a blind bag, which came with this pamphlet. I think some of the, the, the some some of the, sorry some of the unique designs are very very cute, very very nice, but some of them really don't appeal to me. For instance, some of them in the spooky line. I don't know if this is just because I'm a girl, but some of them seem kind of ugly to me. I don't know. Probably little boys like them better, but well, I do like most of I do like most of the designs in this line. They're very nice. Now the Thomas and Friends minis they currently don't come with any specific track or rolling stock. I'm hoping they'll release some track and rolling stock soon, and then it would be like uh, the Bluebird mini Earl line uh, released a while back before Mattel took over. If you want some reference to that, I suggest you check out Jay Louvier's video of the Bluebird mini set. Uh, also, these, these minis, there's also a, something called a collector's case out there. It is a round plastic carrying case which can hold up to 16 minis. On the back of the carrying case is a circle of plastic track which you can run your engines around so you can really have some it can really be take and play, so hence why these are so similar to the take and play line. I really think it would be cool if they released some track and rolling stock for these. Another thing I forgot to point out is that each engine has sort of a hoop at the front end and a peg at the back end for connecting to other engines. Here's how they connect. The peg on the end goes through the hoop here. So you can connect them all up. Sorry. Connect them all up, and you've got a line of minis. 
so hence why it would be really cool if they got some rolling stock for these guys. If you want a size comparison, here I've got them compared to their wooden railway counterparts. If you plan on buying some of these little engines, uh, this is probably the one time I would not suggest going on eBay as they can be very expensive on eBay at about $5 per little engine. In the stores, as I said before, they're about $1.47. Now, if you want to know what I think about these engines, I think they're really great. They're really, really very small. You can take them in your pocket, play with them on the run. Heck, you could even make a series with these if you had enough of them. So that's about it for this review. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave comments, tips, and questions below. So that's about it. Goodbye, guys. Whoa. That looks awfully dangerous. I don't know if I can make it. What? What? How did I get here? Wait, no, no. Bravo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! I can't believe I don't get paid for this. Ooh!